So here are my thoughts on Messi. First up, I wanna say that he's my favorite bowler. Well, actually, I think he's the best because my favorite bowler is Lodaro Martinez, but yeah. Anyway, I still love Messi. If it would be a man that I would sleep with, Messi will be the one. Well, not actually, but for one million dollars, nah, just kidding, I'm not gay. But for two million dollars, no, kidding again, I wouldn't sleep with no man. But for three million dollars, nah, nah, I, I, I'll stop now. You got the point. I really like this dude. Despite all of that, I'm still amazed by all he accomplished. Like, look at how he's acting in interviews. In the ball final. I have three theories regarding Messi's brain. One, he has a low IQ but he plays very well because he can't comprehend how stressful football games are and it's a proven fact that if you play it calm you have a high chance of playing very well. Now I don't think that someone with a low IQ can handle a business and a branding as big as Messi's but eh, he could have had someone smarter besides him like his girl, I don't know. The second theory that I have is that Messi is straight autistic, like we know that autism gives you literally superpowers but gets the power of interaction with people away from you and that's what Messi lacks the most. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> And the uh, last but not least, he's just faking it all. I don't see a real reason to why would he do that, but what if he's a secret genius with a 210 IQ and he's just faking it all for fun? Bro, what the f... Just Google Messi's IQ and a lot of people are saying that his IQ is over 130 or 140. Bro, what the f... Well, I guess that changes everything. Well, now let's take a look at his backstory. The little boy from Rosario, Argentina, Spanish speakers might hear me, but the little boy from Rosario, Argentina, that one day he's with his grandma at a football match and his sweet grandma asks the coach to let him play because she says he's really good and the coach fucking lets him play because it's fucking normal to let a random boy on the pitch without seeing him play once. And yeah, we're talking about probably a under 10 team, which is not a serious thing because they are children and no one cares, but that's still wild. Then the doctors told his parents that he has a grave problem and things like that, but they don't have money and what does his dad do? He fucking flies him all the way to Barcelona to get a contract to make a living out of playing football because if you're poor and your son has health problems, that's what you fucking do, right? Well, there's your prime example that in life you have to take some risks in order to become a millionaire, millionaire in a few more years, and no, that doesn't mean that you have to put your entire salary on red you addicted bitch and finally everything else is history he's the best but for the sake of ronaldo fans i'll say that he's one of the best in the world and yeah like for my thoughts on cristiano ronaldo bye